Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. Today I'm doing a job that I've been putting off for quite a while and uh, it's one of those needs must kind of admin things that you should really do and keep on top of in the winter and that my friends is, if you haven't guessed by the thumbnail, cleaning my Equitrek trailer. Now I've been out today in it for a little outing of which will be revealed to you in due course of course but for now I'm not going to tell you where I've been but instead we are going to get down to the nitty gritty dirty wirty sort of thing and give this give this guy a well-deserved clean because I'm not gonna lie it is looking pretty bad and also it's looking even worse inside because we had a rather pooey passenger <laughs> So, but as I said, I'm not going to tell you that yet. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. Anyway, so I am currently at the farm. My house is not that green silo thing. Where is it? Where's my house? Oh, there, that yellow thing. And uh, I've taken my trailer to the farm um, and we're just going to take it over there where the farm machinery and everything gets jet washed. And we're gonna give it a good old once over. And then I'm going to try and park it in its little bedtime spot. Now I've had this trailer for, since I passed my test in 2017, 18, 19, five, year, five years? So it's probably like four years really. Um, and it's been fantastic. It's the Equitrek Space Trekker M. So it's not the large version um, and it's got, <laughs> now I would show you actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you what it's got inside of this bit, but I don't know where the keys are. <laughs> I don't know where the keys are, so um, I can't. So this was also going to be a kind of trailer door, but you can't get inside. So you can just imagine in here, it's a nice space for my uh, tack and everything. And obviously in here is where, ooh, it's where the horse goes. Uh, but we'll see inside there where I'm power hosing. Um, I can see Piggy. Where's Piggy going? Um, yes, yeah, so I've had it for years. It's so reliable. Recently, I have had a brand new, uh, what's this called? Hitch. This is new. Brand new ramp. And uh, yeah, I dropped some dollar on it because I really love it, but I wanted to make sure it was safe and reliable. So my ramp was looking a bit worse for wear. So brand new ramp, brand new hitch, brand new lights, brand new everything really. So we... I love Equi Trek. Yay! Anyway, <laughs> should we get cleaning? I think so. So I'm at the washing station, and first things first, I want to keep myself clean because I'm still in my competition britches. Why am I in competition? finding that out yet. Um, so I've got these are uh, the toggy over trousers which I have to admit a little bit snug on me because they're not extra small but I'm just going to pop these on but as you can see it's a bit muddy so I'll go and do it over here. I'm so impressed. All right, let's get down to Buzznorth. So here is the power hose. So I'm gonna first give it a satisfying, prepare to be satisfied everyone, down, getting all the muck off. And then I'm gonna try and find some form of soap, but not having much luck with that at the moment. And then we're gonna do it inside. Gosh, right, so let's turn this bad boy on. Where's the tap? Oh. Right, we're gonna have 
be methodical, 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 methodical about this. So I'm gonna start from the front and then zoom our way back. So. serviced every year and obviously recently I just had all the work done to it so I know so I've got something in my eye I know that it's absolutely fine what is my hair doing really should have worn a cap um so it's going to be a case of washing down all the walls all the rubbish all the dirt and reviving my brand new ramp which isn't so new anymore so yeah, let's get going. Right, this is going to be brand. Do you think I need a shovel to shovel the house? You're talking to me or the camera? You. Shovel, yeah, I agree. Is there a shovel right? No idea. I'm going to try, I'm probably going to get splattered with poo. Oh no, definitely need a shovel. <laughs> I definitely need a shovel. That's Frank. <laughs> Lisa said she was going to pick it up. No, I said kick it, not pick it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Kick it. That is just not right. I love horses. Yeah, my friend. Just so that you, you know, that's just really important. Why is that important? <laughs> it's better for the floor. It's gonna rot, maybe? No, because it's not wooden. I've got an aluminium floor. Yeah. Or rust. Yeah. Just as advice if you get rid of the water because then it helps it dry quicker. There we go. Hmm. 
now is going to be my most satisfying bit of this piece because it's my brand new ramp, my pride and joy, a ramp that you can lift up with just one index finger. I'll demonstrate this to that to you later. Um, but we'll give this a hoodah. And then we're nearly done. Thanks. Thank Lucky. God. <laughs> Clearly not your jacket. No, it's a bit wet. It's fine, it's waterproof. It's what it's for. Right, oh, is it, am I really bad? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least it's clean now. Right, last bit, guys. Last bit of satisfaction for y'all. Oh, I gotta demonstrate. Come here, come closer. Right, my old ramp was getting a little bit heavy. Took it to Ectrek, Bury St. Edmunds, put your ramp on, and I used to have to heave ho this, but look at this. You ready? It's gonna be embarrassing if my fingers feel it. <laughs> One finger. That's good, isn't it? Mm. I think I need to clean this thing. <laughs> Dirty, dirtier spots. I would recommend using a actual cleaner, like a soap. But because I'm not actually sure what kind of soap to use, and I don't want to damage it, I've just stuck the water today. But it's come out pretty good with just a jet wash. So, guys, for all you car trailer cleaning experts out there, what do I use? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, so now it's time for the really fun bit, which is what I dread the most because I like to keep my trailer stored in a barn, um, which basically helps the longevity of them, basically. Um, especially over winter. In summer it's not too bad, but in the winter you need to protect them from the elements and also being on a hard standing is much better. So, I have to wiggle my way in backwards into a barn, which is dark. <laughs> so, you're gonna help me, Felix. Nice and straight, high five. Dead. Woo! 
Woohoo! We are done! That is how you clean your trailer, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. And uh, I'm happy that my trailer is safely back in the barn where it belongs. And the good thing about going into the barn is grain is stored there. So I've cheekily filled a McDonald's bag with some grain. My lucky chickens. I have asked, don't worry. Um, <laughs> So, if you enjoyed this uh, little sprucey spring cleany vlog, make sure you give it a like. Leave me a comment. Have you cleaned your trailer? Are you planning to do it? I can't stop touching my hair. It's all wet and full of horse poo. So, I, on that note, I'm going to go inside and um, have a shower and, uh, yeah, enjoy my Sunday night. So, I hope you guys enjoy your Monday night and I will see you guys next week um actually next week i'm going on holiday i'm actually going skiing oh which is so exciting so um do you want a ski vlog do you want a ski vlog let me know if you want a ski vlog um and i'll see what i can do i'm really bad at skiing so uh, i guess it wouldn't be that exciting i'm not going to be going down any black runs blindfolded but um hey ho we'll see let me know if you want that or if you're not interested i don't mind either because i'd rather not embarrass myself <laughs> on YouTube. So yeah, anyway, ciao Ethan Ari. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Bye.